Hello, and welcome again to the Warrior Path. Today we're going to talk about a very important principle, and that is tool versus weapon. Now, there's a lot of talk these days about weapons, and it's used rather loosely. When I used to work in construction, I used to work with a hammer, and I used to help build homes. But if I ever took that same hammer and attacked somebody, then it becomes a weapon. So it goes from tool to weapon simply by the way that I choose to use it. So again, if I go out and use this incorrectly, this tool, if I use this tool incorrectly, then it becomes a weapon. If I go out to try and hurt somebody with it and cause damage, it is now a weapon. However, it can be used for good. You see buildings going up all the time. As a matter of fact, this building has a lot of nails in it. That implies that a hammer was used or some kind of a device to drive them. Now, when we talk about uh, the martial arts, a lot of times we talk about weapons. And weapon is a very glamorous term, if you think about it. And everybody likes to play with weapons. Everybody wants to learn weapons. However, again, a weapon is a tool that is used incorrectly. I used to tell my students that their mind was their most powerful weapon. And I started thinking about it. And actually, there are people that use their minds as weapons. For example, the Joker. He's a very diabolical individual. And he goes out there to try and actively hurt people, using his mind to instill fear doubt and ascension. And on the other side of that, you have Batman who uses his mind as a powerful tool for good. He doesn't have all the answers, but he uses his powerful mind to find all the clues and put them together, sometimes with the aid of others that he knows and trusts, their judgment. And he ends up putting the clues together to be able to stop the villain. So remember, if we use our, our tools incorrectly, whether they be a sword, a stick, anything, a pencil, an ice cube, if we use any of these things incorrectly, they become a weapon instead of the tool that they're designed to be. So make sure you understand the difference between tools and weapons, and we'll see you in the next section. Thanks for being on the Warrior Path with us.